February 2015 was the snowiest winter in Boston history. Over the course of 45 days, nearly nine feet of snow fell on the city. As Boston virtually shut down, thousands of people called 911 in need of help. Boston's 911 telecommunicators did heroic work battling that storm, but they were also battling our nation's antiquated 911 infrastructure, an infrastructure dating to the 1960s that limits data in an emergency to just 512 bytes. That's less data than we transmitted in the very first transatlantic telegram between the Queen of England and President Buchanan in 1858. So here we are, 160 years later, in the worst moment of your life, with an iPhone in your pocket, and 911 doesn't even know your name or often your location. During that winter, our team was holed up in the Harvard Innovation Lab working on solving that challenge. And today, in partnership with thousands of public safety agencies, we transmit life-saving data for most US 911 calls. But what's even more powerful than our ability to impact any one call is how we are working with agencies to actually predict those emergencies before they occur. For example, looking at road conditions, weather, event data, traffic flow patterns, over 50 variables, we can start to predict car accidents before they occur. This data intersects emergencies in surprising ways. In the example of the Boston blizzards, cardiac incidents increased by 23%, falls by 18%. So for the past 100 years, we have thought about emergencies in one way. They happen. And when they do, you ask for help. In the middle of the 19th century, you ran to your neighbors. In the 1920s, you called the Bucket Brigade. In 2018, you dial 911 and you ask for help. But thanks to the work of thousands of public safety telecommunicators, we are on the cusp of forever transforming that paradigm from one of emergency response to one of prediction and prevention. Thank you.